Hey guys, welcome back to Creativity Made Easy. It's Mariam here. This week I wanted to share with you this backdrop that I made for my cousin's engagement party. We just had a small get together at the house. She literally told me about it last minute. So this was a very last minute planned backdrop. The entire thing took me about two hours to do. This is by far the easiest and quickest backdrop I have ever made to date. So if you're looking for a last minute backdrop that's super easy and it's not, I'm not gonna say it's inexpensive, but super easy, then this would be it. So for this backdrop, I'm gonna start by showing you how I made the top portion of the backdrop first. I purchased all the flowers from Hobby Lobby and I've listed in detail in my description box the garlands that I purchased along with their um, barcode numbers and everything and you, I even posted a link to the website so if you want to purchase the exact same flowers you could do that um, just go check it out in the description box so just start by um, using I got one foam board from the Dollar Tree I cut it in half using my utility knife and I'm gonna glue it together um, one on top of the other with my glue gun Next, I purchased two packs of uh, foam blocks from Walmart and I just glued those on top of the board as well. So to hold the foam blocks in place, I used some fishing line that I had laying around from other projects. But you're going to go ahead and just glue um, one end of the fishing line on the back of the board and then just cover that with tape so that it stays in place. And then I just wrap the fishing line many times around the board um, so that the foam block would stay in place. And then I glued it on the other end the same way as I did at the beginning. I'm just going to use my glue gun and finish it off with some um, painter's tape. Then I added a lot more tape to the back just to make sure that the fishing line wouldn't move around. Next I made about six holes into the top of the board and I added fishing line to each one of the holes and double knotted it there because this is what I'm going to use later on to hang this from my backdrop stand. So next came the fun part, just decorating with the garlands and the flowers that I purchased. Um, just so it would be easy for me to see how it was going to look when I hang it, I just hung the foam board on a doorknob um, just so it was dangling and it was easy for me to set up the flower arrangement. So for the most part, I did hang, like stick all the flowers into the foam blocks. Um, wherever I couldn't do that, I just used my glue gun and glued them into place. From start to finish, the flower arrangement only took me an hour to do and I made it the night before the event so that made setting up the backdrop the next morning super easy as well. So the next morning we just opened up our backdrop stand, we got this off Amazon. For the fabric for the backdrop, I got this like net-like fabric, it's gold from Walmart and this is what I was going to use as a fabric and I didn't, just to make it super easy to hang, I just wrapped a little bit of the fabric over the rod and we used safety pins to hold it in place. So on each one of the fabric strips, we attached two safety pins and it stayed, nothing fell and it was super sturdy. So in total, I added about eight strips of this gold net fabric. So 
So initially I had planned to hang the top flower garland portion with um, the fishing line that we had made but um, the backdrop stand actually came with these strong black clamps so I just ended up using three of those to hang the garland from the top, the flower portion. Next, um, we just adjusted the backdrop stand to our height. So you might remember from my last video, the balloon backdrop video, I bought this gold shimmery fabric from uh, Hobby Lobby and um, I decided to add this as well to the backdrop. So um, I lost the footage. I don't know what happened with this that part of the video. I've lost it, but I'll just tell you what I did. I just um, used more safety pins. Nothing was sewn on or anything. I just used more safety pins and attached that fabric to the back so that it had like a nice shimmery gold effect. At the front of the backdrop I added the two six foot long purple uh, flower garlands, one on either side and I just used three safety pins to hold those in place. Finally to finish off the backdrop I just we hung some twinkle lights to the back of the backdrop. Um, we purchased those off Amazon as well and I used about I think four safety pins to hang those to the back. And that's it for the entire backdrop. I think it turned out beautiful. Like I said earlier, it only took me about two hours to make. Um, I spent an hour the night before making the flower arrangement at the top. And the next morning with two people, it took about an hour to set up the backdrop. So I found it really easy. Uh, budget wise, I only spent about $60 on this backdrop just because I had majority of the supplies already at home. But uh, if you were to buy everything from scratch, you didn't have anything, I think it would cost around $150, but I'm including like the cost of the backdrop stand, the lights, um, everything. So please comment below and let me know what you guys think, um, what I could have done better, or if you like it. Just comment, let me know what you think. So I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you see all my latest tutorials and I will see you guys in another video, God willing. Bye!